So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I want to showcase to you 10 plus weapons which offer something unique in regards to special attacks, unique movesets and so forth. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So within Elden Ring there are plenty of weapons. Now the common thing about them, no matter the weapon, if they were part of the same group, in regards to the weapon types, normally certain weapons have basically similar attacks. Today guys, I bring you 10 plus standout weapons that offer something unique. So let's go. Firstly guys, we're going to start with the Warhawk's Talon, the straight sword. Now the thing about the straight sword is guys, normal straight swords and their heavy attacks as you'll see, they normally offer something like this, just like a quick little well not even a lunge forward like a slight little step forward and a stab so either that or a slash uh, from left to right or right to left nothing special about it whatsoever and the warhawk talon guys actually offers something super unique and i can see this being beneficial to many players especially those in pvp because its heavy attack its charge heavy attack has a lunge forward with a double slash this will catch those bastards out in pvp who like to roll it really well and i just found it super unique now this can be used for both pve and pvp but it's definitely more beneficial in pvp for sure and if you dual well this thing as well guys and get that combo on the go you'll see it's actually quite good and you do take a few steps forward in slashing it's a weapon i absolutely love i know it's a weapon that's not um it is quite popular now it didn't start off being popular i'm not gonna lie but it's getting popular over the past week for sure and for good reason the weapon is an absolute beast and like i said it's got a unique move in its heavy attack it's charged heavy attack so yeah guys take advantage of it while you can uh, because this is one that many many people are, are still at the moment sleeping on it's getting popular and popular by the day like i said but hey go get this thing now how you get it it's quite simple so you need to come to stormville castle ramper tower grace point right here and guys you'll see that just outside this door there are three of these eagles now these eagles have got these attached to their claws the three of them simply kill them rinse repeat kill them run back to the grace point rinse repeat use what you can in regards to uh things that buff that discovery to help you get your get these things like the silver tier mask if you have the silver scarab that will help too silver pickled foul feet that will also help i don't think i've got any of them at least i have right there simple as that guys do what you can to farm this weapon because it is super unique like i said it's got a great charge heavy attack one i feel quite a few people are sleeping on so yep yeah, keep that in mind okay so next up guys we have another straight sword with a unique heavy attack it's like a charge uppercut pretty cool indeed now the weapon is called the McHalen's night sword scales with strength dexterity and faith required 16 in that faith 11 in dexterity and 11 in that strength now like i said unlike the usual straight sword heavy attack we actually get here a nice little lunge uppercut to catch things off this guy and this thing is actually pretty brutal keep in mind as well guys it has an amazing weapon skill as you can see it shoots out like a sonic boom scaling with that faith so yes guys a real unique uh, straight sword when i do feel people are kind of sleeping on but hey i thought it's definitely worth a cover in today's video so how do you get this thing well you need to come to the halic tree area guys top of the map right here grace point you want to come to is the prayer room right there once you are here follow this path i take right now so come out these stairs ignore all these enemies run past them if you can Run down here again guys on your left hand side you'll see a door run through this passage up these stairs at this door on your right and then you want to jump onto this branch but be careful though it can be a bit tricky just like so there you go when you're on here come up here just like so jump down well step down here on your left and you'll see the sword will be right there and that's guys how you get the mckellen's knight sword which unique heavy attack uppercut next up guys you have two weapons both cleavers which offer a unique 
heavy attack. It's like a charge swipe and it's pretty cool. As you can see, like this, if you're playing PvP, you can lock onto those enemies and chase them around and then chop them in their face. It is pretty cool. It's actually pretty potent too. Pretty powerful. And it's one I don't really see uh, many people actually talking about. You pair this with the Axe Talisman, guys, and I mean, you're going to do some serious, serious things. Where is the Axe Talisman right there? Enhances those charge attacks. I mean, guys, this will do some, some great, great damage. It really will. Especially for those people in PvP that love to roll away from your attacks. You know how annoying that can be, guys. You don't need me telling you. But yeah, it's, it's a great weapon. It really is. Uh, both of these cleavers are. Uh, the first one, like I said, is... The Iron Cleaver, the second one is the Serpent's Cleaver. They can't act the same. The Iron uh, Cleaver requires 15 in strength and 7 in dexterity. Uh, scales with both. The Serpent's uh, Cleaver, 12 in strength and 8 in dexterity. Again, scales with both. That's a DD and that's a CE. These are both standard weapons, haven't been leveled. Can apply Ashes of War to them too. Make them even better, guys. Now, the Iron Cleaver, if you're interested in this and you're interested in chasing those enemies around, you need to come to Castle Morn. Once you are here, catch the lift up, which we'll do right now. Call it. When it arrives, we ride it up. Okay, so when you're up here, guys, you are looking for a certain set of enemies. These guys right here, you can see they all behold this weapon. Simply, guys, take them down for a chance of getting this thing drop. It really is that simple, as you can see. Well, actually quite easy to fight. Mine ain't leveled up. I can take this out quite easily, so yeah. Simple as that, guys. Do what, oh, have I just had another one drop? Yes, I have, there you go. There you go. Okay, so the Celebrant's Cleaver, guys, you need to come to this spot on the map right here, the Windmill Village, all the way up here. You can see where we're at. You can see where we're at, basically the other side of the map. Compared to Redmain or Castle Morn, even. So, yep, all the way up here, guys, this is where you need to come to. Just like so. And like I said, if you enjoy playing PvP and you want to chase those bastards that are rolling, this is what you gotta do. This is where you gotta come to. Okay, so up here, guys, you'll see these dancing ladies. I mean, a couple of these actually have this weapon. Uh, you'll see them. There you go, these two right here. You can farm them too if you want to. And I'm pretty sure there's more up here too, as you'll see. There you go, one there. There's another one there. There's quite a few of these guys. This should be a weapon. It shouldn't actually take you long game, if I'm honest with you. So yeah, guys, do what you gotta do. Come and get this thing and use it as needed. Next up, guys, we have the Serpent Bone Blade Katana. Now, this is a weapon I do feel many, many people are sleeping on. A lot of people don't rate this weapon, and I can kind of understand why when the Katana is in the game, like the Rivers of Blood, but although this offers the same, well, unique animation in regards to its weapon skill, this one also, guys, offers that beautiful poison build-up. This one scales with strength and dexterity, requires 11 strength and 22 in dexterity. What I love about this thing, guys, is not the fact it's actual weapon skill, acts like like i said the rivers of blood but it's more about its heavy attack its heavy attack is super unique to this weapon super unique to this weapon the kind of charge dash forward and a, a pair of strikes which is real real unique indeed i mean if you put on the uh, the rivers of blood it's heavy attack a, a simple lunge forward a literal simple lunge forward nothing great about that whatsoever and if we do this with other katanas like the moon veil you'll see also guys that their heavy attack is just one dimensional it's the same thing and that's what i love about this serpent born blade this heavy attack is real unique and it's definitely one you should consider using like i said although it don't offer the same blood loss build up as the also popular rivers of blood it isn't quite as powerful yet I do feel it might just be a weapon for the future. So yes, keep this in mind, guys. I absolutely love it. So where is this weapon obtained from? Well, it's obtained from an NPC in Volcano Manor called Tenif. Now this is a actually quite a decent quest, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'm pretty sure most people now will have got this already. 
But if you haven't guys, come to Volcano Manor, or when eventually you get here, you'll meet an NPC inside of here called Tanif. She will give you a couple of letters, and she requires you to take out certain NPCs around the map. Upon you defeating the second one, you are rewarded this weapon, and it really is that simple guys. So yes, a weapon for the future, no doubt. Next up guys, we have a great sword. Now this great sword is called the Sword of Milos. It requires 15 in strength and 19 in dexterity and scales with both. Causes that blood loss build up. Now this is a weapon I really do like. It's a weapon I do feel a lot of people again are sleeping on. And what's unique about this is it's heavy attack. So as you can see here, it's heavy attack. It's like a run, swipe and uppercut. Pretty cool pretty decent and actually quite powerful in fact it's super powerful and it, it, it's quite good both pve and pvp now what's even better about this guys is it's that your heavy attack does indeed change when you activate this weapons weapon skill which is called the shriek of milos so if we activate that guys ba -ba boom you'll see that it's heavy attack actually changes to something completely different and to something a lot more potent so yes this weapon again is another weapon i feel is super unique as a weapon i feel more people need to be using and know about it for sure okay so where do you get this thing from so it comes from a guy called the dong itai who is an npc his quest line starts within the um I do believe it's within the round table but I'll put a video guide in the video description if you're interested in this weapon like I said it is super unique so hey I featured it today next up guys we have another katana with another unique heavy attack it's like a lunge forward overhead swipe and this is a weapon I don't think I've seen many people speak about whatsoever so yes guys I thought I'd feature it today now it's actually quite unique in the way in which it works as well it's a katana i feel people probably rate at least at the set we have in the game right now we may do some great katanas in the game but let's not lie to ourselves it probably is worse off in regards to what's needed in this game but hey this thing uh scales with strength dexterity and that intellect uh or intelligence uh attributes required 15 strength 14 dexterity and 18 intelligence and causes that blood loss build up now like i said it's overhead attack swipe is something super unique it do, you do like take a nice step forward with it so hey i thought it's unique enough to feature so why not okay so where this is obtained is quite easy actually you come to the Khaled waypoint ruins right here located on the map as you can see guys any grace point around here will do doesn't really matter and I'll make your way over here and I'll show you exactly where you get this thing. I think you may need a stone sword key if I remember correctly. But hey, it's definitely worth your time. So yep, you come to these ruins here and I'm trying to find out which one you go down into. Um, I think it may be the back one. Oh, hello, I missed you. I'll take you while I'm here. It could be this one here. There you go, right there. Okay, so go down here, guys. Just like so, run straight through here. This door here you'll have to open, run through the door, open a chest, and you are good people. Is as simple as that. And that's how you get this katana. Enjoy. Okay, so next up guys, we have two straight swords which offer something very similar with their heavy attacks. It's basically a guard strike. So as you can see guys, if I hold this, You'll see right now that it kind of like blocks it an uncommon attack which is quite unique so if you want to power stance these weapons one hand these weapons you don't lose the ability to block attacks which is pretty cool both kind of works exactly the same i'll try and demonstrate it to you on this guy now these weapons ain't leveled so I'll bear that in mind if he kills me so as you can see boom block quite cool Actually, he ain't that hard. He isn't that hard. I'll kick your ass, boy. I will kick your ass, boy. Don't try that with me. Don't try that with me. But yeah, pretty cool, guys. Now, both of these weapons 
are super unique in that regard for being straight swords so you don't lose that ability to block which is pretty cool but the lazuli glintstone sword offers something else as you can see it does have that glintstone pebble on it if you initiate the, your, your charge heavy attack after doing that glintstone pebble you actually get a new heavy attack where you charge forward it's actually quite a decent decent lunge as well if we do this next to the grace you'll see it's actually quite a decent lunge forward guys so keep that in mind i mean if you're playing pvp and you want to catch those bastards that rolling now well, that's what you gotta do that is what you gotta do now this weapon's a uh, weapon skill it's pretty cool too don't get it twisted i mean it's a charge one you can just press it or you can charge it too that's completely up to you but you ain't invincible where you do that you lose a lot of time you leave yourself open if you're playing pvp with that one so yeah that's the korean night swords uh, special attack the korean grandeur which is actually a i think it's an ash of war you can put other weapons too by the way i think i may have got that but either way guys both are quite unique in regards to their heavy block which is quite cool so this one it scales with strength dexterity and intelligence requires 8 in strength, 9 in dexterity and 13 in that intelligence. This one right here uh, requires the same things. Um, well, not exactly the same, but as you can see, not too far difference. 10 in strength, 10 in dexterity and 18 in intelligence. Uh, attribute scans, pretty much the same, slightly better than a Korean Knight Sword. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. Now, how you get this one here, uh, the Lazuli Glintstone Sword, all you have to do, guys, is farm. This is really sorcerers. There's quite a few of them within the rare Lucaria Academy. So this place right here, guys, that one I just killed there, is also one that drops this. Now, if you come to this grace point, the school has class uh, classroom. You can farm these dudes over and over, and get this weapon. It really is that simple, guys. You can farm that one, uh, basically reset the grace, rinse and repeat. It really is that simple. Now in regards to the Korean Knight Sword, this comes from a wagon being carried by or being pulled by two giants just along this path right here, just say west of the Sorcerer's Isle Grace Point. And you can see this on screen now. So yeah guys, if these are weapons you're interested in, which you don't have yet, go grab these things. Okay, so next up guys, we have a weapon called the Flowing Curve Sword. Now what's so great about this weapon is, it's also its charge heavy attack. It's kind of like a wonderful spinning multiple combo of just flurries you do with this thing. It is utterly brutal and again it's a weapon I barely see anybody talking about. It is super unique too. As you can see, it's multiple. You are slapping people with this thing without a shadow of a doubt. Now, my, it's so cold up here. You know my balls have shriveled up, my blue little grapes. You know they have shriveled up, people. They really have. So the weapon itself, the, uh, well, mine's the flowing magic curve sword. Now, I was just messing about with it earlier. I put an ash of war on it. Again, you can put ashes of war on this if you want to. It um, scales with that strength and that, that dexterity. Requires 9 in strength and 17 at de dexterity. Pretty cool weapon, like I said. Fully customizable with an Ash of War, if that is your thing. But it is super, super unique. And I just thought it definitely deserved a mention because I don't see anybody talking about this thing. I don't see anybody using it. Could be for good reason, but hey, going through my weapons, this is definitely one of the most unique I had. So where do you get this thing from? Well, you get it from literally that carriage there being pulled by those two giants. Where I'm at, I am up within the hidden path to the Halley Tree area. Just right here by this, this, this uh, inner consecrated snowfield grace. So yes. How do you get up here? Well, you need to come to the Grand Lift of Road with the Halley Tree Medallion. One half comes from uh, Commander Now from the Castle Soul. Uh, what well, is a boss? Right up here. The other half comes from an NPC down here. Yep, guys, there's millions of guys to the Halleck Tree Medallion. Let's look on YouTube, guys. It's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to lie. I want you to go up here, guys. Come here and do what you got to do. Go take out one giant. The cows will stop. Run to the back of it. Pick this weapon up. And you are good to be spin away, guys, with this amazing, unique attack. 
pretty cool. Next up, guys, we have a weapon I just could not leave out. The Blood Hand Fang. Now, this is a weapon I made a video literally the first week I had him come out saying it's one of the best weapons in the game. And I still stick to that to this day. This thing is super, super unique in what it offers. It scales with that strength and that dexterity. At 18 required for that strength, 17 and that dexterity. Cause that blood loss build up too, guys. But this thing is just so unique in everything it does. I mean, it's super powerful. What's special about this, guys, is its unique weapon skill. That's its heavy attack. This is its light attack right here. We just spin away. This is its heavy attack right here. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. But it's all about that left trigger, that weapon skill, its special attack. With that, that lunge forward and that jump back, I mean, this is so, so unique in what it does, especially because it's an early game weapon as well. You can get this basically at the start. The lunge forward and the jump back is just great at just hitting that target and getting away super, super fast. This does this absolutely probably better than anything you can get early on. What gets even better, guys, if you follow up that left trigger attack, the right trigger attack, you actually teleport forward and do another uppercut. Apps, this weapon carried me through so many things early on. It is unbelievable. And actually, guys, I'm ashamed to say this, I never took it to a plus 10. I never took this thing to a plus 10. But I just do, I just love it. I just do absolutely love it. So where is this thing obtained? Well, it comes from an Evergel. Where I'm at right here on the map. Again, guys, the first step is literally there. The first step is literally there. Build up your confidence, guys. Come down here. Activate this Evergel. And guys, defeat the boss. And you will get this incredible, unique weapon. The Blood Hand Fang. Again, one of my favorite weapons in the game. I claimed from the first week. I'm sticking by it. 500 plus hours later i absolutely love this thing i actually miss using it i really do so yes guys the blood hand fang super super unique in its move set there's no two which ways about that okay so lastly for today's video guys is a weapon i know is very popular it's a weapon we went through a phase of all probably using but hey it's so unique i just had to feature it today the weapon is called the wing of a stout where do you even start with this thing? Well, its weapon skill, its special attack is utterly brutal and if built around, it's one of the most powerful things in this game, but it doesn't end there, guys. Although its light attacks are just mere standard for a curved sword. It is a curved sword before I make myself look stupid. Yes, it is. Its, it's heavy attacks, guys, are utterly brutal, as you can see. Just a, a press of the heavy attack, you can see, shoot out a projectile. Press it twice, you shoot out two projectiles. If you hold this thing, guys, you shoot out four projectiles. Or we'll have the potential of shooting out four projectiles. It is utterly unbelievable, guys. And if you're noticing as well, this uses no FP points to do this. It is utterly crazy, it really is. So the weapon itself, as you can see, guys, uh, it scales with that, that strength their dexterity and their intelligence required attributes are seven in strength 17 in dexterity and 20 in that intellect the nebula weapon skill guys is, it's just this thing just it's just so unique it has got to be one of the most unique weapons in this game there's no two which ways about it so how do you get this well it's kind of long you need to have access to the Ansel river and the Ansel river main because you need to come down to this place right here now, I will put a guide in the video description of how you do this. I've got a guide, complete guide on this video. It's not the easiest to get to in regards to getting to this location. And it will just take me another 10 minutes to explain it in today's video. And I don't want to do that. But yes, if you're interested in this thing, you'll find a link in the video description, guys. But there we have it, guys. 10 plus weapons which offer something unique. I believe you need to check out. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more add on link, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.